Hey guys, you're watching the video of Slur of MC and I welcome you all to the part 2 of me opening 108 Boundaries Cross Booster Packs. So now in this episode today we are joined by some of those signature cards back in there. Also, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Tomato to once again promote healthiness. So yeah guys, uh, feel free to grab some popcorn or whatever and uh, get ready to join in the show. So without further ado, let us begin opening some of these packs. So, so far, hope you guys have been enjoying part one and the uh, Slayer Secret Kitchen as well. And without further ado, that's the code. Uh, let us begin. So we have here a Tailo, Venipede, Oddish, a Lilip, a Squirtle, Reverse is a Purloin, and the rare is, oh wow, I was not expecting this badass in here. Uh, Charizard, wow. Now that is damn right sexy as uh, Sherlock, man. Charmeleon, very, very nice as well. Epic as brother and little brother. And ooh, Skyla, yeah. And a uh, Servine. So epic as way to begin part two. I uh, got myself a hollow Charizard, which is always good. Charizards are always good. All right, and code. Now here we have a Woobat, a Snivy, a Ducklet, a Squirtle, a Dweebo, Dweebo, yeah. The reverse is a Petalo, the rare is a Goduck, and the uh, Uncommon's Electrode, Min Xiao, and another Goduck. Funny thing about Goducks is that a Goduck is blue, but a Psyduck is yellow or gold-ish. So very strange. Anyway, next pack. So if you guys haven't already, already, um, get yourself popcorn or whatever, Cheetos, whatever you guys have, and around the world, if you guys are in Mexico, tortillas or something, I don't know. Anyway, and sit back and relax. So here we have a Pat Rat, a Woobat, a Snivy, a Pokeball, a Spoink. Reverse is a cute, cute little blitzel that I want to rip its head off, sort of thing. Rare is a Moonshana, a Town Map, a Snorlax, and ooh, not a bad artwork of a Low Bunny. So, yeah, guys, three packs, one hollow. So far, so even. Average pulls per thing mode so far. So, yeah, have you guys ever met someone, I mean, seen like an animal so cute that you just want to like squish it to death or like break its head because it's I don't know it's just it's one of those things man that that, that makes me random as and all that uh, anyway here we have a switch a spoink a pokeball a togepi a lilypup reverse is a spinder and a rare is another grumpig a great bolt far-fetched and another epic as looking low bunny all right so far four packs haven't seen a hollow other than the Apicaz Charizard, but um, hopefully we should be all right. So yeah, guys, um, I finally figured out what that friend code was after I talked to some of my poker tubing friends. And yeah, <laughs> anyway, Perloin, Charmander, there you go, complete the trio set. Gothita, Cottony, Skitty, Reverse Hollow Delibird, and the rare is how wow. Epic ass samurai. Check that intense as rainbow holloway thing out. Very, very nice. A duo again. Big brother and little brother. A rocky helmet. Very nice. And a sauna. So I got told by my epic ass uh, Team Sinnoh friend that if you pull out either the Landorus and something else, that I should be happy. So. If I ever do get one of them, I'll probably like stop the video and uh, go to my room, start screaming like a little girl, and then dance around like crazy and drink some alcohol, of course. Anyway, here we have a trap inch, Oshawott, a Melf, Venipede, <laughs> he looks pretty chill, uh, Mianfu, reverse of the Cottony, and the rare is a Lilligant. Okay, Watchog, Cryogona, Gono, and a Dusclops. Alright, so far, so average-ish, haven't hit a uh, anything rare so far, that's alright, that's luck, you can't expect every single pack to be an EX, otherwise it won't be epic when you do pull one out. 
Anyway, here we have an energy search. A Blitzel, a Duskull, a Chinjo, a Numo, a Town Map, and a rare is... Oh wow, this is epic. I love these Generation 1 sexy ass Pokemon Blastoise. There we go. And is this going to be Squirt? No, it's not going to be Squirt or Wartle to the Snorlax. Which looks kind of familiar. It seems like they recycle some of the artwork. A Zumaro and a Gloom. So I guess like yeah, they can only use like like a Pokemon can only have a certain amount of poses that can look cool or cute or intense at. And afterwards they gotta be like I don't know. They run out and then they just recycle hoping that we won't notice, but I noticed them because I'm a collector, not a player. Anyway, here we have a Tepig. Pikachu, there we go. <laughs> Not a bad artwork. A switch. A Squirtle, there we go. A Sandshrew. Reverse Numo. Rare camera. Okay, another big brother. Oh, wow. Okay, this time I'm gonna make a little sister and a big sister. Just because you gotta have these Gen Z quality. Wototo, so I completed the Squirtle to Wototo to Blastoise set. Whatever this thing like Mandibuzz, I mean, <laughs> sort of names that. And a Goduck. So yeah, um. So far, not bad, man. Like I'm enjoying the old school hollows. They always, um, I mean, the hollows from Generation One, man. They're they're always a big bonus to me, uh, because that's that's the generation of Pokemon that I grew up in, and I'm sure some of you guys might have started playing Pokemon in Generation Three, Four, or even Five, and then you guys will end up liking those type of cards or those type of Pokemon in those generations. A potion, a Krogunk, a Daramaka, a Subat. A Wishmacot is the rare, and the Suvet was a reverse hollow, and it was a rare as well. Wow, the Su Suvet rare, that's... And look as random as a Tech Jet Woofer. <laughs> okay, whatever that is. A Gothorita, a Muna, very, very epic artwork, and a Herdier. Alright, not bad of a pose, actually. I'm not too worried. I mean, this is just epic, as opening all these packs, and we still have, like, two booster boxes worth of packs on the sides so yeah man i'm excited to be opening these and i hope you guys are ex just as excited about this set so yeah um anyway for further ado let us uh begin with purloin spinder a radata an oddish a lillipop reverse holo oshawa looking badass the rare is a vioplume there you go a lot of these generation one hollows or generation one pokemon hollows not bad a charmeleon a Delcaddy and a Vibrava. Alright, I think we've got enough time for one more pack before we close it quits for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far because I am as well. And here we have a Gliga, Voto, a Dusko. I like the artwork about one missing eye and one red evil eye thing, laser eye thing. Frillish. Electabuzz, one thing that has Zubat spelled backwards there. I remember I made a little poker facts about it. And yeah, um, Dunsparce. Camera up again. Damn it. A Town Map. A Mandibuzz. And a Goduck. Alright, I think we got enough time for one more pack. And we've opened quite a bit of a pack in this episode. One, two, three, four. Can't count too many packs. Probably ten. Anyway. Let's get going, guys. Last pack. Blitzel. Scytha. A bit of... I hate these. These pigeons, man. They, they piss me off so bad. A Togepi. Daramaka. Now, that's nice. A Dusclops. Very, very nice. And wow. That is some badass shit right there, man. Look at that. Black Kyrum. It's like, damn, I'm gonna freaking destroy ya or something. Uh, Electro. Snorlax. And a Farfetch'd. So very very nice epic hollows in this ep in this uh, part in this episode. So yeah guys, one last question I want I want to leave with you guys is which generation of Pokemon did you guys grow up in? I did you guys like so like did you guys grow up watching you know um, generation one in Kanto or maybe Gold and Silver generation two generation three four five like which generation? And what was your favorite moment in that generation? So it can be generation one when, you know, we see the Pokemon and the Pokeball or whatever. And generation two could be like Celebi or something. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. And uh, stay tuned for episode three. Love you guys, six people. Catch you guys later.